Greetings from the Erie Coast. This is Mad Shad. <laughs> On this wonderful Sunday, wet Sunday, it's been raining, uh, but it dropped the temperature down a little bit, so it's sun's popping out every now and then. It's a good day. It's a good day. Tell you about those that did not have a good day. Those Americans that are trapped in Afghanistan left there by Trader Joe's militia slash incompetent regime. At least we forget 13 service men and women died. Cabo, Afghanistan, Abbey Gate. Oh, 200 of the poor souls here, plus people lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back. A lot of them service members as well. Every day, never forget. And never forget whose fault this is. Deploy knife hands. Mm -hmm. But there was hope. Folks getting him out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project Access, Project Donald Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. Yep. And at least we forget that 700 and our plus individuals are still incarcerated over the J6 debacle, held as political prisoners, uh, sentencing without bail, torture, solitary confinement conditions. Someone lost an eye. There have been suicides. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. And yes, definitely deploy more knife hands. <laughs> But there's hope. Thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones, charitable organizations, law firms doing whatever they can, uh, even some senators, congressmen, representatives, judges, former presidents, soon to be president, and the Supreme Court itself uh, getting into the getting into the fight. Um, so yeah. Meanwhile, uh, the only thing I got across my my radar. We're cooking chicken, and we're having chicken feast. <laughs> chicken feast Sunday, me and Charity. Charity is out of breath. She's been working on the walk that I've cooked the chicken in uh, as we're feasting on the chicken or cleaning up. and Yeah, it's good times. <laughs> but Charity's out of breath, right? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> right. Meanwhile, uh, the only thing that came across my desk was uh, uh, Nellis Air Force Base. Nellis Air Force Base. Um... It's very hot there. It's very sweltering heat. The sun, if you're on an Air Force base working in that sun, you are baking. It's The sun will burn you. Uh, it's It sucks. Um, and so these these Air Force uh, airmen, uh, they're out there working in it all day long, you know, all the time. Uh, and they just requested, they just made a request uh, that they, if they could wear the boonie, the iconic boonie, right? You, we, we all have boonies. Um I don't have one handy at the moment, but probably packed up away somewhere uh, in a bag. And then like, yeah, I've got a few. So we've all got boonies. You know, you throw them on, uh, and, and the airman's uh, uh, argument was, you know, and this is sent up their chain of command to the commanding officer of Nellis Air Force Base. And so this was sent up to the chain of command in a request that they wear boonies, that they be able to wear boonies, and request denied. <laughs> uh, you know, so... Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. But, you know, that, that was the Marines too, so uh, back in the day. Um, and, in, and the airmen had a great, uh, a great point. They said it is, it is vital and necessary uh, and, and practice that uh, alterations to the uniform be made uh, in consideration of the weather, right? Uh, in Marine Corps, we had a uh, hot sop, cold sop, right? Uh, woodlands and poplars. Right, uh, so you know, one was a thinner material, and and it, and one was a thicker material, basically. Um, but at at no point in time were we allowed to wear boonies, anytime, anywhere. No, the only time we we could wear beanies, yeah, but no boonies. Uh, that's that that was force recon. That was uh, all those guys. We were just straight up, you know, infantry. So. Yeah, no beanies. If you got to wear, if you're wearing a beanie, you, you're probably. Chances were we were probably just wearing a fucking helmet. Uh, so you can't put a beanie over a helmet. Uh, you know, and it whatever. And your 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 cover, your standard uh, baseball cap type cover, it's it was sufficient, right? It was sufficient. <laughs> you could roll your sleeves up in the summer. Uh, but they had to be all regulation, and you know, boom, you did the, you know, the three block, the two block, whatever, um, and you rolled them up perfectly and ironed them and all that. And during the winter, you could lower, it's uh, called coat sop, and you roll your sleeves down, make sure they're nice and pressed and clean. Um, but 
At at some point, we were allowed to, if we were on a working party, take off uh, the blouse um, and you know put it off to the side, and we'd have our uh, our little uh, our gray beige uh, PT shirt. You know, so it's your undershirt, which had to be that color. And you know, if you might have been wearing your uh, your your silkies underneath, right, just in case, uh, you know, impromptu PT run. So. <laughs> <laughs> my heart goes out to these uh to these airmen but oh well i mean suck it up right um it, but it, it, they do make a point they they do make a good point and it is what 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 kind of commander uh it tells you what kind of commander he is right <laughs> it tells you that no we must stand on tradition stand on uh on this and and do not budge uh, yet the airmen are, you know, probably going to BAS for like third degree burns on their necks and their in their and their back, uh, their head. I mean, you know, they're suffering. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. I, I I hope for the best. I do. Uh, absolutely. I, I hope. I hope the air yes. This is a marine saying. I hope the airmen that you guys uh, get satisfaction and get to wear the boonie. You know, because it's hot out there. It, could, it does. It does a great job. I don't know. I mean, may, maybe go with pith helmets. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's kind of commanding officer. I'd be like, okay, everybody gets a pith helmet. There you go. Uh, <laughs> or no, the the safari land hat. The safari land hat. Everybody gets a safari land hat. If you have to wear a hard hat, it's a safari land hard hat hat. Uh, <laughs> but everybody will wear one. That that does good. That covers your neck, but you know, in your head and everything. But you're walking around out there looking like uh, uh, space balls with this massive helmet on your head. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, good luck to you, Airmen. Um, as I sit here and reflect on this day, you're all having a great day. Nice, nice, peaceful, restful day uh, because Monday morning comes early. <laughs> so, uh, go team Devil Dog. Go team Devil Dog. Fuck brain surgery. Uh, he is recuperating, recuperating well, and uh, start, starting to heal. Uh, starting to heal. The healing process is making its, uh, its, its uh, strides. So, go check out Devil Dog Prepper. Sub to his channel. Comment. Uh, on all his channel, uh, on all his uh, videos, and share it out, and of course subscribe. Of course, you know everything. Uh, let's let's get this brother up uh, past 500, <laughs> right? Uh, I know we can do it. So uh, yeah, and uh, go team Linda, go team Linda. Fuck cancer. Uh, she is kicking ass, taking names, getting stronger by the day. Um, <laughs> there's Charity. Yeah, I hear you. she wants more chicken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and go team Joe, go team Joe Morgan. Go check out Joe Morgan's channel. Uh, fuck addiction. Uh, he is kicking ass, taking names. Sixty days now without a drink. Right on, brother. Good skull. As I drink to your honor, which is water. Right. Stay hydrated. Ah, uh, yummy. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget. Bonus! More knife hands!